exactly. You need to find a sweet middle ground, something that is good for both, you know, tracking cars and spraying and flicking. Because if, if you have it too high or too low, like you, you will have some issues in some facets. But honestly, like the funniest thing to me about sensitivity is that your aim and like how your sensitivity feels to you will always change depending on how long your arms are. All right. So the most controversial topic, I think, uh, is the sensitivity. I've seen, I've seen everything. I've seen everything about sensitivity and I want to make a clear point on this topic. I think it's going to be really, really important. I think a lot of you guys need it to actually step up to the next level in PUBG because it is super important to master your sensitivity and it is really important to not change it all. So I'm going to go through all these points in this PowerPoint. Um, sensitivity, the idea of finding the perfect sense doesn't exist. So yeah, let me explain. Basically, you can take any sense that you want. Nothing too fucking absurd. Like don't take some 32,000 fucking DPI. But you can take any sense that you want and you can be good with it. As long as you put practice in. So obviously, certain sense are highly recommended and certain sense are pretty uncommon. So if you have a good sensitivity already, keep it. Yes, if you don't, if you think, if you already like have a sensitivity that matches the same um, range as most pro players, so don't take anything with like, I don't want to see any 800 PI 55 in game. That's way too much. Lower it. Okay. Nobody is, has ever gone good at PUBG with a high sense. If you're not actually big better at PUBG, you're going to put your pride on the side. You're not going to be flicking people like CSGO or anything. It, it's PUBG, bro. You're going to be precise. And to be precise, you can't have a high sense. You just need to lower it. And for that, I think that most of you guys don't have a good sensitivity yet. And to have a good sensitivity, you lower it. And the best tip that I can give you, it's going to be a weird one, but the best thing that I can give you is copy a pro player sense. If a pro player is using a sense, the sense is good, okay? Like, it, 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 in general, like, if one person got good with this sense, that means that it's possible for you to get it. So don't take the fucking one guy that's playing on a high sensitivity because they, there's probably one or two guys that play on super high sensitivity. But it's one out of fucking 300. Or, or like, like, if you want to, like, use a sensitivity that you know gonna be, you're going to be good at for, like, the fastest way possible, Use the one that most people use. I personally use 825 uh, for everything and my ADS is 20. You can copy mine. It's a really good sense. A lot of people use that. Uh, I got good at it and I, I put practice in it. And so I got good with it. So that's all you need to do. Just copy someone, copy your pro player sense and then just practice, 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 practice. Okay, so I don't want to see you guys do something because I see you guys do a lot. I, I, see, I see people do that a lot. It's like, they're gonna change sense. Okay, so they're gonna copy a pro player sense. They're gonna, be, they're gonna copy fucking Jeems sense. So they're gonna go type in the chat. So much more sense. Oh, Jeems race with this sensitivity. So I might try it. He tries it for three days. And doesn't like it. Goes to Tiggleton's chat. Sense. Take Tiggleton's sense. Totally different. No muscle memory saved. Nothing. Tiggleton's sense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Test it for four days. I don't like it. Goes to facts, like, again and again and again. You change it, you change it, you change it. How do you expect to be good with the sensitivity? And how do you expect to have a muscle memory? Because it's all about that. Aiming and stuff is all about muscle memory. How do you expect to have muscle memory if you change your sense all the time? Just keep the same sense, whether it's the perfect one, whether you hear that this one is trending, this one is... No, fuck that. Fuck that, because all of you guys are... Seeing people like Fex, or I don't know if James changes his sensitivity a lot. I just know Fex does, you know? But like Fex changes his sensitivity all the time. So you get you watch Fex stream and you're gonna be like, damn, he just changed his sensitivity like three times in one game. Yes, and he's still good because he is a pro player. He's playing for FaZe. He's one of the best players in the world for a reason. He can afford changing sense. He's talented. You guys, if you guys are watching this guy, you probably are not, you're probably not talented. That's the reality of things. So if you're not talented like Fex or like other of these like big players, 
don't try to copy them for that. Copy one sense, use one set that you know works and practice it, practice it and master it your whole life. I'm good, I could change sense and I could literally be good still. I still don't do it. I still don't change my sense. I've been playing with the same sense for like years and years and years. And even if people tell me, oh, why are you doing that? Why are you, why are you not changing it? Like, I just don't do it. I just like to have my own thing and it's been working for me. And it's the best advice that I can give you. Just stick to the sense that you have, okay? Once again, you don't find your perfect sensitivity. You make it perfect. That's the most important thing of this part. And please listen to this advice and practice with the same sensitivity over and over and over and over and over again. Don't change. I think another overrated thing is sensitivity. Your sensitivity is actually not that relevant. I think there's successful pros with a sense, every single sense you can think of. Like there's a range and the range is pretty big and pretty much every single pro fits within this range and every single pro has good aim. Mm -hmm. So don't get caught up thinking about your sensitivity being wrong or right. Like just once you feel comfortable with something, just grind it, just grind it, grind it, grind it. And only once you've used it for like two months, if you feel like you're whipping sprays because your sense is too high, then you should lower it. But other than that, like most of it just comes down to comfortability. It's funny that you say that because I have a whole video that's like obviously one of the most important video of this guy because sensitivity is the most controversial topic at say in PUBG. And you have like all these people typing like in a chat, like in every pro, every, every pro, mm -hmm. they, they type so much on sense, they try it, they, they switch it and stuff. And like, obviously, you guys have watched this already, or maybe you just skipped to Tiggleton part instantly, but I advise you guys to watch the sensitivity video because what Tiggleton just said right now is the exact same thing as what I said about the sensitivity, right? You don't, like, you're not gonna be able to find the perfect sensitivity, like, just overnight that just matches your gameplay or, like, your, or like that just matches you. No, you gotta make it perfect for you. You gotta, like, grind it until you get to that point where it's actually your sense. So yeah, yeah. Exactly. there's and no like, people, like wrong sense. Hey guys, real quick, if you're enjoying this video and find those tips helpful, you'll love the ultimate guide to improve in PUBG. It has 50 plus videos just like the one you're watching with tips from some of the best players in the world. Don't take my word for it. Take it from the hundreds of people that got the guide and joined the PUBG Improvement Academy. The 20 next member will get 20% off with the code 20 next. The thing is, there's there's. Uh there's a good sense for every scenario as well. Like, honestly, if I wanted to spray my org as con consistently as possible every single time, I'd drop my ADS sense down to like 30, right? And then now when I spray, my sense is incredibly low, but I'm going to have a very consistent spray. Every single time, I'm going to have a very similar controllable spray, right? Mm -hmm. But is this sense actually practical for like me playing the game? No, because I'm not going to be able to track cars and stuff. This is my whole mouse pad from left to right, and I can... Yeah barely flick around right you want to so make like, you want to find a balance and like just an average exactly like yeah. exactly you need to find a sweet middle ground something that is good for both you know tracking cars and spraying and flicking because if if you have it too high or too low like you you will have some issues in some facets but honestly like the funniest thing to me about sensitivity is that your aim and like how your sensitivity feels to you will always change depending on how long your arms are. Mm -hmm. Like if you have a 6'6 six, six giant like Ibiza, mm -hmm. right? And his arms are like four times longer than Shen from Tai Lu, right? Mm -hmm. Then of course, Ibis, if, if they run the same sense, that doesn't mean they have the same sense in my eyes. What that means is that Ibby's sense is way lower than Shen's sense because Ibby's arm is twice as long. When Ibby swipes the mouse pad, his arm is literally going to move on a curve twice as long as Shen, right? Yeah. So you Would need you... to think about sensitivity relative to like the size of people as well. So in, in the in the in the, the parts that uh, I talk about sensitivity, I say that you shouldn't like bother trying to like change and like look for all the senses that could like be the, the best sense for you and stuff but i would say i say usually like copy one pro right because like if he does it like if he uses it it's because like he thought about it and he knows that it's like you know it's something that works and that's yeah. like so just copy one and then practice with it 
You know, and, and, I say, and make sure they're of similar yeah. stature. Yeah, that's but that's something that I didn't. Yeah, that's something that I didn't talk about. So that's why I think I'm gonna put this mm -hmm. right after the, the the sensitive video. It's yeah. um, like Tigerton said, and it's really really important. Then you want to find like you want to copy a pro play a pro player sensitive video that has the same kind of physic, uh, um, physic. Do you say physicality? Yeah, physicality as you. So if you have like long arm or like big hands or I don't know like maybe try to get to the like copy the, the the sense of a pro that's like matching your your physicality yeah exactly one other thing that is completely underrated is depending on what mouse you use the sensor will be higher or low on the mouse so when i used to use my old fk1 mm -hmm. i could run a way higher sense and it's because the sensor when i was holding the mouse comfortably would be underneath the middle of my palm. Like if I, I can remember exactly, underneath my middle knuckles, mm -hmm. if I were to draw a line straight down from my middle knuckles, that's where the sensor would be. Which on my G Pro wireless is at the bottom of the mouse foot and it's an inch lower than okay. where the sensor is on my G Pro wireless, right? And what that means is when I'm moving my wrist left to right like this, or I'm swiping my arm on a curved line, the length that this sensor will travel left and right is way further than the length that my Zowie would travel. Mm -hmm. And that made every single sense I ever used on my G Pro wireless feel way higher than my sense on Zowie, which threw me off a lot because the vertical, like when I'm recoil controlling, the sense felt the same, but when I'm flicking left and right, it felt like way higher. So like you need to take into account the, uh, the difference in mice when, when you're going to go and copy these pros senses. If they have a different mouse to you, it's probably not worth copying their sense because it's just a completely different ball game mm -hmm. depending on where the sensor is on the mouse how they grip the mouse and you, you can never just like copy it's not that simple yeah but th at the same time as well like you have so many pros out there and you have like yeah. specs.gg if you guys yeah. don't know spec.gg just like just go spec.gg and like type specs.gg and you will like have all the list of the pros and their sensitivity and try to find a pro then try to find maybe a pro that has the same mouse as you have and if not well maybe then if you want to like actually but it, these are details right these are really like like fucking it's not like as important as actually ramming up practicing and stuff but like then maybe think about buying the same mouse as like that one guy and like try yeah. it you know and if, if it fits you then then just you know like like if it if it doesn't fit you then like send it back like you know like amazon all that stuff but if it fits you then you have like you found your mouse you know and then stick with it Right, stick with stick was the same yeah. thing, so you can actually build that muscle memory. And honestly, before copying any PUBG pros, I would say copy Counter Strike pros. Yeah, that is years more experience than FPS, and I feel like their their mouse scripts and stuff, and how much they focus on their aim, is quadruple the amount that PUBG players are focusing on their aim. There's a lot of PUBG pros that don't even focus on their aim; they don't even care about it. Mm -hmm. Right, and I think that's a terrible thing. I think they should be focusing <laughs> on their aim, but you know, you can't get away with that in Counter-Strike. So I think Counter-Strike is the best way to find like a sense and a mouse and a mouse pad that's probably fitting to you. Yeah, good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. Then never really paid attention to, 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 to CS because obviously for me, it's like a whole different game and you, you don't see it like- Yeah, right. Yeah, it's like, oh, I just like, PUBG is so different, but at the same time, if you actually care about about like, aim 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 you know and like maybe not like maybe not like sense but like maybe about you know like mouse grips mouse pads all that stuff that like fits your your physicality like we said like we talked about well then yeah 100 percent yes mm -hmm. that's a good advice